Hello and welcome to my channel. If you are just starting out as a new player or as an experienced player looking to do 4 star operator clear strategies, this video is perfect for you. If you are neither, this video is still super useful so do stick to the end. I will be splitting the operators in this video in terms of their classes, so the sequence doesn't correlate with how strong they are. Let's look at the vanguards first. First, we have everyone's favorite DP printer, Myrtle. Myrtle is a standard bearer vanguard similar to Salich and she specializes in giving fast DP regeneration. The trait of this archetype prevents Myrtle from blocking enemies during her skill duration, so don't use her to block waves of enemies. Her signature skill is her first skill where she will recover a decent amount of DP over a duration, she is super worth investing in and is one of the most popular units to bring into stages, even in late game. Secondly, we have Vigna, a Charger Vanguard, or DP on Kill Vanguard. This archetype allows Vigna to regenerate 1 DP for every enemy she takes out. Her signature skill is her second skill where she will gain a massive attack buff but has lowered attack speed when the skill is active. Even so, Vigna can easily take out mid-defense enemies with no problem thanks to the big attack buff, she is a great alternative unit to use if you do not have bagpipe a vanguard that can help a lot in early game. Now moving on to the medics, thirdly, we have Susuro. Susuro is a single target medic who specializes in healing one allied unit at a time. Her signature skill is her second skill where she will gain a decent attack buff and a big attack speed increase, allowing her to do emergency healings and keeping the operators in her range alive and healthy. However, this skill can only be activated twice every battle, so only use this skill when absolutely necessary, but even so, Susuro is an extremely strong medic to build. Fourthly, we have Perfumer, an AoE medic who specializes in healing 3 units a time, but at a lower amount than single target medics, which is understandable. Her signature skill is her second skill where she will increase her attack by a huge amount but has her attack speed decreased by half. This skill is amazing in saving operators in a pinch and the healing output is pretty good, but the increased attack interval might be a little troublesome to deal with, but even so, Perfumer is another medic that is super good. With the combination of Perfumer and Susuro on your team, they can carry you as your main healers all the way to endgame. Moving on to the defenders, we have Kiora. Kiora is a tanking defender, meaning she has a high defense stat and can block three enemies, her signature skill is her second skill where she will increase her block by 1, making her a 4 block unit, plus she will get a huge defense buff and can heal herself for the entire skill duration. This makes Kiora an excellent stalling unit, definitely one of the strongest defenders for early game. Sixth, we have Gummy. Gummy is a guardian defender who is able to block up to 3 enemies and provide healing to nearby allied units. Both her skills are pretty good but her first skill is used much more often than her second skill. It allows Gummy to heal an allied unit in a small range by a percentage of her attack, plus this skill can store charges, a great starter healing defender. Seventh, we have Cutter. Cutter is a dual strike guard or swordmaster which means her basic attacks hit enemies twice. Her signature skill is her second skill where she will deal a big burst of damage to enemies within a relatively big range, hitting up to 5 enemies, plus the damage will be doubled against aerial units. This skill is really good in early game thanks to its ability to clear out big waves of enemies and high damage output, a great 4 star to invest in. Next, we have Moose. Moose is an arts fighter which means her basic attack deal arts damage despite being a guard operator. Her signature skill is her first skill where she will debuff the enemy's attack for a duration while dishing out a burst of arts damage, this skill is great to use against heavy hitting enemies like bosses as the attack debuff is super helpful, a great starter arts fighter. Ninth, we have Utage. Utage is a Musha guard, which means she can't be healed by normal medics but recovers a certain amount of HP every time she lands a hit on an enemy. Her signature skill is her second where she will lose half of her HP immediately after deployment but gets a big attack buff as a trade-off, plus her attacks now deals arts damage, a great unit to use against enemies with high defense and low resistance. And lastly, we have everyone's favorite sushi chef, Jay. 
J is a merchant specialist which means he drains 3 DP every second he is on field, but as a trade-off he has reduced redeployment cost and a low base DP. His signature skill is his second where his attack increases by a decent amount and his attacks now heals himself or a nearby allied unit based on 50% of the damage he deals to an enemy. Jay's healing with this skill is enough to keep himself alive even against enemies with high attack, plus his skill too has unlimited duration, making him a super strong operator to use, even in late game. And that is all. Hope this video was helpful in briefly introducing the 4 star operators. I will be making similar content in the future so do consider subscribing. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.